everybody it's a beautiful day and I've been waiting for this day forever <laughs> it's okay it's okay hi meet Frankie Frankie met Mo and fell in love little did they know more joy was on the way Lexi was born and Kai. <laughs> this is our love story welcome to Alpha Beta it's more than just family I've been waiting for this day for ever, literally a year, and I'll tell you why. Um, you guys, if you haven't heard of a lady called Marira, Nyambura Marira, who does the best eyebrows in this town, in form of microblading, there's a little guy making this here, he wants to be the star. <laughs> Look at this guy! Isn't he the cutest? Mwah. Microblading is like a refined cosmetic version of brow tattoo, but it's not permanent. That's the difference between it and um, tattoo, normal tattoo. I'm sure you know somebody or you yourself has uh, maybe done eyebrow tattoo and you know it's not the best look. Uh, so what Nyambura does, she refines that particular look and it looks so good literally and i'm not saying this just to like gas it up i have seen pictures or other people doing um brow blading <laughs> let me call it that way and these people you can compare the work with nyamburas i'm so lucky and honored to be doing my eyebrows with her i've never had eyebrows since like i was how old was I? You were not even in a machine. Maybe 16 to 18, you know, in high school and you're trying to do the entire brow plucking or shaving. So this, this is going to be my redemption moment, yeah? So I'll walk you through the journey. Perhaps by the time this video is coming up, it will be long after the brows were done and the refill has been done because this is my 2019 gift also towards my birthday which which is in may will be in may maybe this is may already i don't know uh but all the same i'll keep you posted on the oh my guys <laughs> <laughs> it's happening it's happening so i'm gonna have a quick chit chat with uh nyambura say hi. hi yep you guys last time I was not too happy with you. Uh, you what? said, not you, Mama, oh. my followers. They were like, oh, Maria Onyambura looks a bit, you know, bougie and all. Yeah, she's bougie. What <laughs> you gonna do about it? But she's the sweetest human being oh. you've ever come across. Don't be too quick to judge before you know a person. So, guys, let me tell you, like I had said earlier, we've been waiting for this for almost a year, yeah? Yes. Actually, more than, no, more than a year. Oh, my God. Yes. yes. Yeah, so I couldn't do it because I was pregnant with Kai. Last year, January, i never forget because I was going to Bangkok. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, when you my lashes. Yes. You yes. sure I can't do it while well pregnant? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so this has come at such a perfect time. Perfect. Today is 6th March and I'm going to do my retouch uh, early May. Two months. Two in two months. So early May, which is around my birthday. I have something huge coming up. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. You guys are not ready. Yeah, so um, Nyambura, maybe you can just explain to my viewers mm -hmm. uh, what you're going to put me through from your professional perspective mm -hmm. uh, because I understand microblading is not such a familiar thing in right. Kenya especially. Right. And, and by the way, I was telling, this is so random, yeah? I was in the supermarket just before I came mm -hmm. and I meet this guy, a man. Right. And I tell him I'm going to do eyebrow treatment. You know what he asked me? Uh, are you going to that lady at Garden? <coughs> what? Yes, I was like, how do you know? Really? Yes, and then he said, my mother-in-law did it a month ago. And I was like, yes, yes. What? <laughs> yeah. So, there's two techniques, yeah. Maureen. There's microblading mm -hmm. and there's shading. Yeah. Uh, microblading is where both involve inserting pigment into the upper layers of the skin. Yeah. Um, they don't, doesn't go as deep as a tattoo. Um, so microblading is the stroke-like effect that looks like hair. So you actually have a tool that has very little needles placed in a row where you take your hand and you go like almost making like little cuts that okay. look like hair throughout the brow. So that's microblading. Okay. 
Um, shading on the other hand, which you know I normally call powder brows, involves a little needle in a machine that just pokes little holes on the skin okay. while inserting ink. Interesting. So microblading creates that natural hair effect yeah. while powder brows or shading creates mm -hmm. more of a makeup look. Oh yeah. Like it's kind of like you like penciled what you have in. Or yes. what I have right yes, now. Yes, exactly. You have micro shading. I have powder brows. Yes. Powder. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so how do you know who should get what? For instance, I mean, don't be fooled. I have no eyebrows underneath there. Right. Yes. I overplug them. Yeah, this hair. But I overplug them. Yeah. yeah. And mine are super fine. Mm -hmm. How do you know who you know would look better with what? I study the distribution of your hair. Okay. Like you have people who have lots of yep. hair yep. at the front and then all of a sudden there's no hair. <laughs> For such a person I can do the combo. Combo is a mix of both. Ooh, yes. So I can do strokes mm -hmm. at the front and then you know join it with the shading, yeah. the powder brows. Yeah. Um, for somebody who the hair is not equally distributed. Mm -hmm. I usually just prefer to go with powder brows because oh, okay. it has a fuller effect. <laughs> Skin type also, oh, yes. it really plays a role okay. in what type of brows. Okay. I can tell you oily skin mm -hmm. doesn't heal well with, with microblading, the I strokes. See. They kind of heal blood out oh, yeah. for people with oil. Depending on whatever technique you do, powder brows last longer as opposed to microblading. You'll have more touch-ups yes. required when okay. you do microblading. microblading yes. If you have the little cuts done every biannual yeah. like, touch-up yeah, yeah. time, yeah. to me it's invasive. True. Every time just doing cuts. True, true. So most of my clients who've done microblading, okay. they have nat a natural effect, yeah. but when they come back annually mm. or after two years, mm -hmm. they'll transition into powder. Okay, to powder. Yeah. yeah, and anyway, it's the new thing in yes, town right yes, now. Yes, yes. Yeah, so if y'all don't know what this is by 2019, you're missing out. This is the next big thing in the beauty industry. Yeah. Like, I, I know a lot of you ladies, you know, you can attest to this. You spend at least 20 minutes doing your eyebrows if you want them to look like hers. Because for me, it's usually I get it or I don't. But I always do my brows. I feel like when I do my, my brows, mm. my face is made up. Oh, that's good. And it works for both. Both yeah. people who are into makeup, yes. both who are not into makeup. Right. If you're not into makeup, yes. you just work out. Exactly. If you're into makeup, it lessens your time by like mm -hmm. two minutes. If you want your brows to yeah. go, yeah. you'll still have your shape and just touch them. Exactly. Much they are the mm, same mm, mm. But mm -hmm. I don't get that when your eyes are closed. Right? See? Here. Your eyes are closed and mm -hmm. at the same level. Mm -hmm. This is a bit high. Mm. Which this one is this one. It's weird. Ideally, this is how I look when I wake up in the morning. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, gosh, you can see the outline is it's on already. I mean, it's gonna be amazing. I know because I've been stalking every single, every single post she puts on. <laughs> Once a day. Okay, that's enough one. I think that's best. You just, yeah. You just okay. need very little. Awesome. Yeah. 